I started painting the clouds, oh gosh, it's been more than 20 years ago now. We first moved out here to the coast. Um, I can walk to the Chesapeake Bay and I would take my easel out on a strip of sand between the inland marsh and the bay. And I would plant the easel and my feet in the sand and then my head was free to soar in the clouds. And I'm a Gemini, so as an air sign, I was quite comfortable up there in the clouds and I would spend hours and hours and hours just mixing my colors and trying to match what was there. Of course, by the time I got it mixed and looked back up at the sky, it was different and I became the sky and the ethereal uh, mist. And I guess I would say that's how I really got my affinity for painting the thin space. So um, on a painting like this, this is, this is a commission piece I'm working on, but it, like all of my Claude paintings, it's about dissolving in the sky and having my feet planted firmly on the ground. So that connection to spirit and being here on earth one at the same time and then my job becomes negotiating the thin space in between. And so whichever painting, <laughs> whichever cloud painting it is, or actually any painting, even a, even a meadow painting has a thin space. But right now I'm focusing on um, the, the clouds, of course. Um, we think of them as puffy, cotton-like things, but they are not, they dissolve. And we can dissolve ourselves in them. And this is what I do when I paint. So when I was practicing um, early in my career, uh, I had a, a, um, a teacher of sorts, a spiritual teacher, who would um, instruct me to spread my, um, heart out like peanut butter out onto the landscape and then feel that all of that space and then wrap it pull it all back in so okay spread it out like you know like peanut butter and then and then scoop it all back in and that's what I do I don't I don't haul off my <laughs> at this age I don't really like to haul all my gear out on site anymore. I'm very lazy. And besides, I have this huge sunroom studio that has beautiful natural light. And so I like to paint here where everything is where it belongs. But I still do the same thing. I still plant my feet firmly on the earth and allow my spirit to go way out there in the sky. And that's what goes into every single one of my paintings. So I'm using a very thick, heavy palette knife with impasto paint. And when that dries, then I come back with a thin translucent glaze. And so layer by layer by layer, all of this texture and, um, and translucent paint develops into a very three-dimensional uh, surface. So if you're seeing my paintings online, seeing them in person are two different things. Um, when you're here in the studio, you get, or in your home, of course, you get the benefit of standing sideways and seeing the, the three-dimensional quality. And so morning, noon, and night, in the evening, light, in the spring, in the summer, in the, in the winter, the, the, the light is different, which is why I like my studio to have windows on three walls. But my paintings bring the landscape into your home in the same way. So that connection to the landscape, I always say I can taste the colors, which I guess um, it's palpable for me. And therefore for you, when you bring the painting um, when you stand in front of the painting in person, it's palpable. And that's my intent, is to take you with me.